Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tronage, and today we're going to be talking about FPV crate for August 2020. And you, he you hear that? I'm dying to know what that is inside. I got my hunches, but if you want to check it out with me, then you're going to have to stick around. All right, guys. I mean, I I feel like I'm a you know kid on Christmas where I'm shaking my presents and I don't know what's inside, but I'm hearing. And this this you know sometimes you'll get these that feel a little bit more heavy. Sometimes they have a certain rattle to them, and it gives you kind of some ideas of what's inside. And that's part of the reason why I enjoy these mystery boxes is just that you get that thrill of not knowing what's inside but it's something usually pretty cool. So, you know, this one's got a lot of rattle to it. Now, I'm gonna make a prediction here. I think what's inside here is going to be uh, some types of like hardware that you would use to build uh, quads, maybe some M3 bolts, maybe they're nylon bolts, um, like nylon standoffs maybe, I don't know, but it definitely has a screw nuts and bolts kind of sound to it. So I'm excited to check that out. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna bring you all up in close. We'll do a little unboxing together, look at what's in here. Then we're gonna do a cost analysis to see what you paid, what you got, was it worth it, and all that fun stuff. And then we're gonna talk about these different items and whether they're good or not good, or you know how I feel about them. But before we do any of that, slam that subscribe button. While you're at it, hit that bell icon. Makes finding my videos a whole heck of a lot easier. It helps support the channel and it keeps you in the know when I post videos like this one. So please make sure you go and do that. Also, while you're down there, there are those affiliate links, just a reminder. So if you are thinking of subscribing to the FPV Crate, please use those affiliate links down below. They do help support the channel. They do not cost you anything extra, but it will help me out. So please go and use those. All right, with that out of the way, let's get this unboxed. FPV Crate, huzzah! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, let's let's get into this. So we do a little flipperoo. We're going to cut that seal. Oh, so buttery. I love these seals. They cut so smooth. Little pre-open on that flap. We flip it back around. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, what we got here, we got our little spoiler alert. So let me just take that away first. I don't want to have any spoiler alerts, but let's take a look at the sticker sheet. That is a pretty cool. I'm digging these down here, actually. These are for your LiPo packs, obviously, since it says battery record. I usually just write directly on the battery packs, but it's nice having a little sticker to keep things a little more organized. But we'll talk about these later and the, the pen I use, because actually you can use any pen you want, but the one I found really works well to write on them. And it may also work really well to write on these stickers. So we'll talk about that a little bit later, but that is really cool. We also have uh, three packs of, looks like Gem Fan Wind Dancers. Three packs, all the same, yep. They're 5043s. Here is your label if you care to check that information out. So we got three packs of the Wind Dancers in a wonderful yellow color. We also have some packing material and some more packing material. And so here is what was making all that ruckus and sound. It is a hardware kit by FPV Crate. And basically, if you see, it's got all kinds of hardware. So I was right in my guess. It has a whole bunch of screws, nuts, and bolts. Everything you need to build a quad. So we'll take a little closer look at this later on. But that is really a necessary thing when you're building. And we have the Luma Skids. Now, the one thing I'm noticing, these do look a little bit small, and there's two of them. It, the other ones used to say Luma Skid Kit. This just says Luma Skids, so I don't know what's in here. We'll have to uh, get a little clarification on that. But these are those skid plates that had the LED lights that you put into them with some race wire and stuff that we got, I think, in the June box. But we'll, uh, we'll take a look, and we'll see what's up with that. But two packs of those, pretty cool. My guess is going to be a 
yellow color and a red color one to go with the different stickers holding them shut. Other than that, there's nothing written on the outsides. And lastly, here we have Pacer Team Motor. All right, so it's a pace. It's a bleh, it's a Team Motor uh, ESC. It looks like based off of their Pacer motors, maybe. And let's see here. It looks to be a 50 amp 4-in-1 ESC, which is pretty cool. It has uh, yeah, four four by 50 amp burst 60 amp. It's got all the specs on here. If you want to take a peek, feel free to pause it if you want to read what's on the packaging. But there you go. So we got a T motor. One thing that makes me really happy is that it's brand name. Uh, FPV Crate in the past has put out some vanity products and it just makes me really happy to see the actual brand name ones. You know what you're getting, you know how to hook it up. You can find the, the, the information about it real easy and it just makes you happy to know what's in your hand. So we got the T motor 50 amp ESC. We got the Luma Skids, two packs of those. We have the hardware kit. We have three sets of the Wind Dancer props and a sticker sheet. And no t-shirt, I'm noticing, no t-shirt. So I'm wondering how that's gonna work into the value of this box. Cause I don't know, We're, well, let's do some numbers and we'll see how it turns out. All right guys, I know you want that wonderful, delicious, scrum -dilly cost analysis there it is so let's go through these line by line but before we do that i would like to first talk about this sticker sheet normally i don't really pay much attention to the sticker sheets i just kind of flip it over and go okay cool and move on with life this one actually has something a little utilitarian on it which i think is pretty cool so let's take a little close-up of that and you see on here we have these little battery record stickers here which are pretty cool and it's important when you're using light posts because they can become very dangerous so it is important that you kind of keep track of the health of your battery how old it is when you've flown it um when you first charged it actually is what's most important you always put it into storage voltage when you're not using them and all that fun stuff so this is a nice little friendly reminder that you can stick on your battery packs and you can write on it. And I mentioned about using special markers. Now I do, what I use, let's take a close look at these. These are Sharpie brand, but they're not your normal black ink marker. These are actually water-based paint markers and they're the extra fine tip size. And uh, these are what I use to write on stuff because the regular Sharpies can kind of wipe off of the plastic sometimes. They're not as permanent as you would like them to be. While the paint marker, especially, what do you do if it's a black battery? How do you write black on black? No matter what ink you put on a black area, you won't, it won't show up. Paint markers, on the other hand, will show up so i can write on top of like a black area of the pack and put whatever i want to put on there so granted with these stickers that isn't as critical because the sticker gives you a nice place to write on but if you wanted to write just directly onto the battery it's nice having the paint marker and i find these to work really well and i use the water-based ones because they consistently work well throughout the owning them the oil-based markers that I've tried in the past, they work great when you first take them out of the package for the first time. Then the next time you go to use it, it's kind of like all clogged and gunked up and it's it's a big mess and I don't like dealing with them. So anyway, I thought that was cool that they have these stickers so that you can mark those on your battery. I personally just write it directly on the battery, but it's something I wanted to talk about because it is safety and it is something that is important to do. So we have the gem fan wind dancer props we have received these before i don't remember which box gave it to us um but i i know we had them in a golden yellow color and we had them in a red color and now we got them in more of a lime yellow color which is pretty cool these are great props i love flying them gem fan is is I, I wouldn't say it's my go-to. I do like the HQ props and I also like the, the Dow props are like my go-to brands, but GemFan is a very close third when it comes to when I'm picking props. So I'm really happy to have got those. Next up, we have this hardware kit that we got. And this is actually something very important that you need when you're building quads and you're, you're dealing with quads. So let's take a quick look at it and a little close up look. So here's the top. So here's the top of it, nice little sticker with FPV logos and stuff, and you open it up, and here's the contents of it. Feel free to pause if you wanna actually take a peek at that, and then a little paper that protects it, and there's your contents. We got everything from, you know, some longer screws for your stack. We got little 
spongy o ring like rubber o rings for doing uh some soft mounting action we got uh some nylon standoffs we got a little bit of everything in this and this is a really cool thing to have now it is marked in that peachy color because i had a little bit of issue with the price what's my issue i couldn't find one so i had to come up with my own price and I had to assign a value to it so how did i come to that price well back in december of 2019 fpv crate put out this hardware kit so let's take a little peek at what was included with this kit so this is from december 2019 there's no label on it this time and we got some good stuff in here. We got the same sort of stuff. We got the gummy O-rings. We got some uh, nylon standoff type stuff. We got screws and everything. But we also have a low ESR capacitor. We have a XT60 pigtail. We have some foam skids. So we got kind of like a little bit of everything in here. And this retailed for $4.99 on their website. So when trying to figure out for this kit compared to this kit, well, this has more like screws, but less electronics. There's no ESR capacitor. There's no XT60 pigtail. It's missing those things. In addition to that, I also was looking at, because me personally, I have this uh, kit. This is a 600 piece kit. You can see it's got tons of tons of stuff in there. But this is what I have for my own personal use. And I got this one on Amazon. And it, it's expensive, but it's also a 600 piece kit. This is roughly about a 200 piece kit. So what I did was I took the price of the 600 piece kit and kind of mushed it around with the price of this kit, which I don't know how many pieces are in here, but it really doesn't matter because it also has some like wires and foam skid plates and stuff like that. So I kind of figured, you know, these are sort of similar. This one has more screws, but this one has more like electronics. So maybe maybe a dollar more or something, roughly speaking. And if you do the math from this 600 piece kit, roughly about a 200 piece kit, which is really what this is. This is about a 200 piece kit comes out to be around five dollars and change so i just called it 5.99 to make everyone all happy and whatever so whether that's the price of this cost if you were to go buy it i'm not sure because i'm just making that up but as of the time of this filming there is no price available so i have to go with my gut and that's what i would say it's worth if 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 it ends up retailing for more than that and you want to buy one i would say you're probably better off just spending a little bit more and getting the 600 piece kit so you get a little bit more of everything that you'll need that being said though, these are super, super important to have because primarily when it comes to mounting your motors, that's where it comes in the most important. So everyone doesn't use the same frame. I may use a different frame than you're using and you may use a different frame than your friend uses and each of them will have a different thickness of the carbon fiber on the arms or legs or whatever you call that portion of your frame. And that comes into play for what size screw you need to use because you don't want that screw to penetrate into the windings of your motor. That's very, very important. Also, are you using skid plates? Are you not using skid plates? That also adds thickness that you have to compensate for with that screw. Also the motors, I might use a different motor than you do and they don't all have exactly the same thickness of a foot that you're screwing into. So some of them may be a little thicker, some of them may be a little thinner, some of the windings may be very low, some motors may have windings that are higher up away from that area. And these are all factors you need to worry about because as you're assembling, you just need to make sure, my rule of thumb, the threads should not penetrate beyond the foot. So I should see maybe like it should either be flush or maybe one thread above the foot, but that's it. If it's more than that, I take that screw out and I put a shorter one in to compensate for it because I don't want anything sticking out of that foot that can end up in those windings. And that's why it's important to have one of these. And also, even though I already, I already have not just this kit and the kit from December and the kit that I showed you, the 600 piece kit, I also have these kits too. Why? because you need a selection. And if you didn't have it, now you have some. So that's what is really important and why I'm super excited about this freaking hardware kit, which seems lame, but it's the little things that matter when you're building a freaking quad. Next up, we have these skid plates. Now I wanna be very clear that uh, I confirmed these are just Luma skids. The word kit is not included here. What's the difference between the Luma skids and the Luma skid kit? 
Okay, the difference is the electronics, if you want to call it that. So let's take a look at the kit first so you can see what I am talking about. So with the Luma Skid pack, what you're going to get is you're going to get the mounting hardware and then you're going to get the skid plate that goes along with it. And it's really just, you know, plastic part. You mount it underneath your motors so that it protects your screws so they don't get worn down from landing on asphalt or concrete or whatever. Um, and it just keeps, it gives you a little bit of height to your quad when you're on the ground. So you're nothing's like touching. So they're definitely a good thing to have. The difference is there is no uh, LEDs. There's no race wire. It's just the plastic skid plate and some screws. The difference with the kit is then you get, you get a piece of race wire which goes from your four in one ESC, you got your three motor wires connect to here and then the three motor wires come out and go to your motor. And then it has these little red and black wires that you pigtail off and that hooks up to this little LED board that's sitting right there. And what you do with that LED board is it goes into this little groove on the skid plate. You see there? So it would feed into here and now your skid plates are glowing a color, which is a definitely a cool thing. We all like to have some flashy showy offy color type stuff on our quads if you're going for that kind of a look. So that is what's really cool. Now, so to make the distinction, in the August box, you just have skid plates and hardware. There is no LEDs in these. There is no uh, race wire. There's no nothing, just the plastic skid plate and the mounting hardware for them in a yellow color and a red color. Now, I did talk to the folks over at FPV Crate and ask them about that, if that's intentional or whatnot and they said yes that's how they're doing it they wanted so that people who were in the june box and had the led guts already if you want to call it that could do a little mix and match and change it out and go for a different look but they will also be including on their website at a future date there'll be an option to buy the led portion with the race wire without the skid plate so that you can if you only if you missed out on the june box and you didn't get this the kit but you have these and you want just the guts and you don't want to buy a whole kit. You just want the LED portion. You can buy that separately. And they said it would be roughly about $9.99 or lower. They haven't, you know, figured out the details yet. So that is pretty cool that they have that option. Now, me personally speaking, I kind of wish instead of giving us two of these, I wish they would have just given us one, an, a new one of these for the box, because not only would that have brought the value up by another like five dollars, because this is about ten dollars and this is about fifteen, but if you missed out on that June box and this was like the first box that I'm getting, then I would have the LEDs and I could have all fun and dandy. Right now, this is really just a little piece of plastic I bolt onto my my rig, and it's not as exciting as the full blown kit. Nonetheless, though, still very useful, still very important. But one note I will say, just because it comes with mounting hardware, don't think that that's the magic mounting hardware for your motor and carbon combination along with those skid plates. Like I said earlier, make sure when you're all said and done, no matter what, however much thickness, whether it's the motor foot and carbon fiber and skid plate, that that amount of thickness is the right size screw. Because if you go too long, it's going to go into your windings. You go too short and it's not going to get a good bite into that foot and your motor can then come loose. So just make sure you're using the appropriate length screw. Now, if only you had a kit to make sure you had the right. Oh, wait, you did. You got it in this box. Again, this is why I said this is so important. So when you go to use these on your quad, crack right into this and make sure you are using the correct length of screw for those um, those skid plates. And then lastly, we have the T-Motor 4-in-1 ESC 50 amp. And I'm super excited, not just because it's, you know, a 50 amp ESC, which is pretty darn beefy in my opinion, but it's also, it's a brand name product. It's a T-Motor product. And like I said before, uh, FPV Crate has put out some vanity products in the past, and I'm happy that they're may maybe moving away in the, away from that and moving towards just giving brand name products because I feel as a consumer, you know what you're getting. You know that it's going to be supported. You know as different firmwares come down the, down the road, you don't have to worry about a third-party person updating for whatever little mini changes they may have done to their vanity board. You know that it's just it's 
part of this larger line that's going to be supported and taken care of. So I'm really excited about that. This looks like to be a freaking awesome thing. And the other thing that makes me really excited, if we take a close up look at this packaging, just look, look at that manual. Look how thick that like instruction page is in there all folded up. Nice, nice. Look, look at that. Like that makes me very excited because if we want this hobby to flourish and we want to get more people involved, which is the only way to get it to flourish, you need to get more people involved. It has to be obtainable and it has to be something that people can do. And the more you make it complicated and the harder it is to try to find information and put things together and get things to work, the less people that are going to be involved with it. So it's all about educating people how to do it, which is why I'm doing. And as well that manufacturers put out good documentation so that we know how to use it so that someone can pick it up. And really, as long as they take the time to read the manual, it should be pretty simple to hook up. I mean, obviously it's an ESC. How hard is it to hook up? But remember, I'm trying to look at it from the viewpoint point of someone brand new who may not know how to hook it up so it's good to have that type of information so i'm super excited about that super excited to try it out actually and also freaking it looks like it's pretty sweet because they're going with that whole like pacer scheme so they're doing that that whole like paint scheme on it too which is you know, obviously you're not really going to see it. It's going to get buried in your stack anyway, but it looks cool when you first take it out. So now with all that said, we go down here to the bottom though. You see that we're at $14 worth of value or 19% over the cost of the box. Now for myself personally, I have a baseline of about $20 or 25%, give or take whichever one, you know, depending on the box that uh, I consider to be the appropriate exchange. What do I mean? Well, these are mystery boxes. The point of a mystery box is that you're giving up your choice. You're saying, I don't care what you send me, but send me stuff that's high in value versus what I paid. And that's the exchange that you're having. So for me to sacrifice choice to get value, I feel like $20 or 25% is a good bargain to and a reasonable one too to expect. So here we're at $14 and 19%, which is a little below what I normally would want to expect. But now, you know, you look at what you got in here and it is still a decent box. Don't get me wrong. We've gotten way worse from other companies at other times that had way less value. And in all honesty, if you think about it, it's really kind of like you bought the ESC, you bought the hardware kit, and you bought two packs of props. And then for free, you got the two skid plates and another set of props, because this is about $14 worth of free stuff. So as long as you're happy with the with the hardware kit, the ESC, and two packs of props, you got this is your money's worth right here. This is what you paid for. And this is what you got for free. And in my book, that still is pretty decent value. I mean, it's not, it's not wonderful. It's not going to be like, hoo ha, hooray. Yes. I'm not going to be cheering and saying how wonderful this is, but that's still decent value. You, you definitely coming out $14 ahead, which is nothing to sneeze at. So with that being said though, that's now a couple of boxes in a row. The FPV crate has been a little bit lower than the bar, or at least my bar, your bar may be different, you know? Your standards, you may be, as long as I get $10, I'm happy. You know, I'm just saying for me personally, I feel like $20 is a good exchange. So FPV Crate now, two, two boxes in a row have been a little bit low. And it kind of opens up the door for Quad Box to maybe come up and do something cool. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I just know I did get the notification that quad box is uh, being prepared or being shipped or being on its way. I don't know. I didn't didn't really look too carefully, but I haven't got it yet. But once that quad box comes in, we will be unboxing it and then we'll be comparing because once both boxes are in, I do a comparison between the two, seeing where our value is at, who's in the lead, who's giving the most value and all that fun stuff. So if you are thinking about subscribing to the FPV crate, please, like I said before, use that link in the description below. It helps support the channel. You get my undying gratitude for using that affiliate link if you're going to subscribe to this box. And I would say it's definitely worth it. I mean, for what you're getting and how much you're paying, we always need some stuff. I mean, personally, I love it. I get surprised. 
you know, you, you can't really put a value on the surprise part. The surprise factor is definitely a cool thing too. And then you get some stuff that you need. And specifically in this box, the, in my mind, these are the stars of the show right here, because this is super important. It's not exciting, but it's super important. And this is exciting. The rest of it's sort of like, you know, gravy. But for me, those are the two stars of the show for this box. So as always, my name's Tronage. Fly strong. <laughs>